covered that what is requirement engineering and what is requirement gathering and after analyzing the requirements we have to model those requirements okay this we will study today so what is analysis modeling so analysis modeling means whatever the requirements we analyzed during the requirement engineering part or you can say during the requirement engineering phase we have to now model those requirements by using the uh, UML diagrams okay that we discussed in the lab also so after deciding after finalizing the requirements we have to mod model those requirements that is known as analysis modeling in analysis modeling we will cover the concept of requirement analysis flow oriented modeling scenario based modeling class based modeling and behavioral modeling these four are the UML diagrams that we need to draw to explain the customer about the SRS document okay about the software requirement specifications after requirement engineering we have to draw the UML diagrams for the requirement modeling okay so why we need this analysis modeling because it provides the first technical representation of a system it is easy to understand and maintain so it deals with problem of size by partitioning the system by partitioning the system that means it partitions the project into number of parts and you can draw diagrams according to that okay for example if we uh, we have discussed a diagram for a functionality of the system to represent the functionality of the project we discussed a use case diagram to represent the state of the project we discussed the state diagram the user uh, uses graphics whenever possible that means during the anal analysis modeling the user or you can say the software developer use the graphics okay graphics are used to draw the UML diagrams so it's easy to differentiate between essential information and implementation information if you draw the diagram for every part of your project then it will be easy to differentiate between the information that is mandatory or you can say necessary and the information that is required during the implementation part so next analysis modeling helps in tracking and evolution of interfaces now what is interfaces interface is a way of communication that a customer will use to interact with the software product last is analysis modeling provide tools other than narrative text to describe software logic and policy that means when we do analysis modeling it provides us tools to draw that textual information into graphical information that would be that would help the user to understand the software project easily next is a set of models these are the set of models that are used for the analysis modeling in the requirement phase okay now after you finalize your requirement the last step is analyze analysis modeling that means you have to convert the requirements into requirements from textual part to the graphical part okay so here you can use four types of model to design the uml diagram first is flow oriented modeling in this we discussed about the sequential diagram and uh, is oriented towards the flow of the information that means the diagram that is representing the flow of the data or you can say flow of the process from starting to end that is used for the software development okay so flow oriented modeling provides an indication of how data objects are transformed by a set of processing functions that means how the data objects that a user is defining in the software project how they are getting transformed to perform some function second is scenario based modeling so now what is scenario based modeling scenario based modeling means the representation of the system from the user point of view scenario based modeling means in which we draw the diagram for the user interface we tell the user or customer that your software product after development will be looking like this okay so it is known as scenario based modeling in which in which we represent the system from the user point of view third is class based modeling in class based modeling we will draw the class diagrams to make aware the to make aware about the classes that are going that you are going to be used 
for the software product development okay so it is known as class based modeling class diagrams are used for the class based modeling in class models you have to define all the classes objects and attributes that you are going to use in your software project so next is behavioral modeling what is behavioral modeling behavioral modeling we have discussed uh, yesterday about the state diagram that means the diagram the uml diagram or you can say graphical notation that is used to describe the behavior of your software product or software project in that case we use the behavioral modeling diagrams it depict the state of the classes and the impact of event on these states um, these four models that we discussed in the previous slide are the elements of analysis model now basically there are two types of analysis model that we can design first is object oriented analysis that is related to classes and object okay second is structured analysis now what is structured analysis structured analysis is actually the static structure of your project okay so in structured analysis you are able to design the uml diagrams that are not going to change on execution when modeling in object oriented analysis there can be three types of uml diagrams first is scenario based modeling second is class based modeling third is behavioral modeling so here you can see that in the object oriented analysis uh, there we can use three types of modeling first is scenario based modeling in scenario based modeling we have to draw the use case text use case text means you have to draw a um, draw a box in which you have to mention all the use cases means all the functions that your software project is going to perform you have to mention all that we will discuss this format in the next slide second is use case diagram use case diagram we have already discussed yesterday in which we describe the functionality of the software project third is activity diagram active so last is swim lane diagram this we will so second is class based modeling now in class based modeling we will draw the class diagrams analysis packages okay crc model CRC models are actually class responsibility collaborative model that are used for designing agile model. We have discussed agile modeling in the first chapter. Okay, so collaboration diagrams means a, a third type of object oriented analysis model is behavioral modeling. In this, we will discuss uh, state diagrams that we discussed earlier. Second is sequence diagram, sequence activities. Okay. So last is uh, there are basically two types of analysis model. One was object oriented that we have discussed. Second is structured analysis that remains static throughout the software development process. The diagrams, the UML that is not going to change. Okay, so this is a structured analysis. In structured analysis, we can draw the diagram that is flow oriented modeling to show the flow of the different different modules. Here we will draw the data structure diagram, data flow diagram then control flow diagram, then processing narratives, okay. So next, uh, these are the approaches that we have discussed in the previous slide. First was structured analysis. Now what happens in structured analysis? It considers data and the process that transform the data as separate entity. That means structured analysis takes input as a data and process that data and transform them into separate different different entities, okay. <coughs> data is modeled in terms of only attributes and relations that means data is modeled in structured analysis you have to just draw the diagram to represent that which type of data or what data you are going to use for the software development you are not going to mention any operations there okay any operations that uh, your software project will do after execution no operation is being mentioned in the structured analysis because it's a static behavior of the software project third is processes are modeled in the structured analysis the processes are modeled to show the input data what is the input data the transformation that occurs on that data and the resulting output data so the structured analysis will contain the uml diagrams that uh, that are using that will represent the input data output data and the transformations that will take place okay so second was object oriented analysis in object oriented analysis its complete focus in is on the objects attributes their relationships okay so it focuses on the definition of classes and the manner in which they collaborate that means a number of classes can be used to make one software project 
so how each class is interacting with another class to form the uh, or you can say to perform the functioning of the software project is mentioned in this object oriented analysis okay so next is flow oriented modeling what happens in flow oriented modeling in flow oriented modeling there is a data modeling okay in data modeling what you will do you will do you will identify these items what are the data object that means what are the entities okay second is data attributes as you study in er model same entities are there okay for example name class these are the entities okay data object means the objects that are representing your data if you are uh, using the student uh, database then the information that will be available in the student table is called as data object like student table has information like student name student roll number student contact number so name roll number contact number these are the data object these are the entities okay so in data modeling initially you will uh, identify the data object then data attributes data features then relationship between the attributes then cardinality that means number of occurrences this is similar to the er diagram that you have learned might be learned in the dbms okay so data flow and control flow now what happens in data flow diagram now this was firstly we have to do the data modeling we have to identify all the uh, concepts related to the data modeling after that we will go for data flow modeling diagram then control flow diagram okay so what is data flow diagram it depicts how input is transformed into output as data object move through a system that is process specification now what is happening in process specification it describes data flow processing at the lowest level a control flow diagram control flow diagram kya hoga it will illustrate how event affect the behavior of a system ki koi bhi event occur hui hai for example humne kya kiya hai atm card insert kiya to uske baad koi event occur hogi to wo event system ke behavior pe kaise effect kar rahi hai that comes under control flow diagram okay how events affect the behavior of system through the use of state diagram this we will represent through the use of state diagram discuss in detail so second was second is scenario based modeling initially we discussed about flow oriented modeling this is scenario based modeling in which we model the um in which we draw the uml diagram from the user point of view that the user's point of view so here you will represent uh, the scenario based modeling using right you just uh, go back to the slide we are discussing these analysis analysis model so initially we discussed the flow oriented modeling okay in which we have to draw dfds control flow diagrams and processing narratives okay so this was a structured analysis now we are discussing the object oriented analysis in that we are now discussing the scenario based modeling in which use case text is there use case diagram then activity diagram then swim lane diagram okay after that we will be discussing class based modeling then behavioral modeling so this is a scenario based modeling in which you have to write the use case text okay you have to uh, draw this symbol this boundary in that you have to write use case title use case title kya hoga bismi use case title will be uh, the name of your module for example i gave you exam uh, i gave you an example the day before yesterday that was the example of reception so use case title will be the reception okay in your project the different the name of the different modules can be here use case title after that actor actor will be the receptionist reception pe jo actor hoga wo kaun hoga receptionist hoga ya fir kya aayega yahan pe patients do actors ho sakte hain isme patient hoge jo bhi visitors hain wo honge ek kya hoga receptionist description ab isme description doge ki ho kya hai theek hai so you have to write so this is a activity diagram now एक्टिविटी डायग्राम भी हमने कल डिस्कस कर ली थी इसमें आप क्या डिस्कस करोगे एक्टिविटी डायग्राम इज ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड ओके इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द सिनारियो बेस्ड मॉडलिंग इट सप्लीमेंट्स द यूज केस बाय प्रोवाइडिंग अ ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन मतलब होता क्या है इसमें जो यूज केस डायग्राम है उसको ही आगे ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन बता रहे हैं हम बाय फ्लो ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन यूज केस डायग्राम में क्या था फंक्शनैलिटी थी हर प्रोजेक्ट की एक्टिविटी डायग्राम में क्या है कि वो फंक्शनैलिटी का डेटा फ्लो कैसे है वो फंक्शनैलिटी को अगर आप यूज़ कर रहे हो तो
तो उस फंक्शन उस फंक्शनैलिटी में डेटा कैसे फ्लो करेगा स्टेप बाई स्टेप दैट इन दैट कम्स अंडर एक्टिविटी डायरिंग ओके सो इट सप्लीमेंट द यूज केस बाई प्रोवाइडिंग ग्राफिकल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ इंटरेक्शन विद इन अ स्पेसिफिक सिनारी ओके यूज फ्लो चार्ट लाइक सिंबल यूज होते हैं इसमें मैंने कल बताया था आपको राउंडेड रेक्टेंगल हम यूज करते हैं टू रिप्रेजेंट अ स्पेसिफिक फंक्शन एरो रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं टू रिप्रेजेंट द फ्लो ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन डायमंड फॉर ब्रांचिंग डिसीजन सॉलिड बार टू रिप्रेजेंट द फॉक एंड ज्वाइन ऑफ पैरल एक्टिविटीज फॉक एंड ज्वाइन ये मैं आपको बताती हूँ होता क्या है अब फॉक क्या होगा मान लो आपका कोई एक्टिविटी है वो फर्दर डिवाइड हो रही है डिफरेंट पार्ट्स में दिस इज वन सपोज दिस इज टू दिस इज थ्री दिस इज फोर सो दिस बार इज नोन एज फॉक ओके दिस सॉलिड लाइन ये सॉलिड लाइन है इट इज नोन एज फॉक ओके विल ज्वाइन टू फॉर्म वन इन अदर पार्ट सो दिस इज नोन एज ज्वाइन Here this bar is known as join and here this bar is known as fork.